Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark here and today I have a really cool Photoshop extension I want to show you guys. So it's called Perspective Tools 2 and uh, this is it. So, you know, when you pop it up in Photoshop, this is what it looks like. You can, uh, you can dock it pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, you can resize the window and it kind of adjusts the size of the, the little icons. Uh, so yeah, you can pretty much place it wherever you want, uh, you know, for, for uh, depending on your layout. Uh, it fits pretty much anything you would like. So. Uh, you, you also have the nice uh, like little tool tips at the bottom here, like a uh, small animated GIFs that uh, GIFs or GIFs, whatever, uh, that shows you uh, what it does. Uh, but let's take a look at it. So we want to have a uh, a pen tool selected. So that's really important. That's how this works. So uh, for the first one, for example, for horizon, you just click somewhere, and then uh, you know you click on the horizon button, and it'll create uh, a horizon, as you can see. So really, really cool. Uh, for uh, perspective, so that's you know that's the whole point of this thing. So uh, you want to click also uh, grid, and it'll create kind of like a vanishing point wherever you click. So you can create as many as you want. Um, so in this case, I have three of them. And what's cool is that you can change the colors for them. So you just you know you go on the active layer that you want to change, and then you just click on that little thing, and it'll cycle through four different colors. Um, so it's a little bit uh, you know easier to uh, to look at, and you can also. Uh, change the uh, the number of lines that will show uh, you know the the, the amount yeah the density of the grid pretty much so in this case I'm gonna try something pretty crazy so as you can see there we go so as you can see that's pretty intense so you know you, you will probably want to keep it at one or two uh, three is a little bit crazy but uh, yeah I mean there it is so if you wanna you know if you're working on a really really large file and you want to have a lot of details uh, you know if you if, and you want to be really really accurate, and there you go. So, yeah, one thing that's uh, that I I really can't stress enough that this works with the pen tool and nothing else. Uh, but the the app is really good now. The app the extension is really good at explaining to you what you're doing wrong if you're doing something wrong. Uh, and that's another feature. So right here you can uh, you know instead of just using one point to create a perspective, you can use two lines instead, and it'll kind of uh, you know create a vanishing point based on that. And that's especially interesting if you have an existing scene like this and you want to create, uh, you want to find out you know, the, the vanishing points for that particular scene. Uh, but now we're going to go uh, ahead and check out the other tab, so the, the wraps tab. That's actually really, really cool too. So this is probably my favorite uh, and it allows you to pretty much wrap anything to, you know, to anything. So this is one of those tools that's like every single artist, every, every single environment artist should have this. Uh, without exception, it's just this. It's just too useful, and uh, you know, like graphic designers too that do like uh, you know, like product mockups and like like I don't know, like uh, I can see so many so many uses for this this kind of stuff. But so yeah, like uh, the first one is the wrap tool. So whatever you have on a particular layer, you can just create like a, a three point, uh, or actually a four point a four point uh, kind of like you know shape using the pen tool and it will wrap to that shape. So as you can see here, I was able to slap some texture on that on that box here pretty so, pretty easily. Uh, another one that's really cool is the, the one underneath is you select again, you select the square that you want, and then you use D-wrap, or D-perspective, and it'll create like a flat image of that, uh, you know, that, that box, you know, so you can add a bunch of you know like text on it if you want. Uh, you can add, uh, you know, different designs or like, you know, tweak it. And then uh, what's cool with this is that it creates a uh, smart wait is that it? a smart layer, and then uh, or smart object, and then that uh, is non-destructive. So you can do whatever you want in this particular file. And once you're ready, once you're ready, you just you know save it, and then it'll apply it to the uh, your main file. So I'm just you know doing a bunch of uh, small details here to show you guys. That should work. And then you save that, and then uh, you'll see it being applied. To the side here there we go so you know really really cool so if you want to go back there uh, and change a couple things you can just double click on your uh, on your layer on your smart object and then uh, yeah go ahead and edit uh, that file and it'll it'll represent it'll be represented in the main file so you know for example if you had like a, a 3d scene that you needed to to fill up with a bunch of details you could be adding like uh, like little signs on there or like on the sides of uh, or if you if you're if you want to draw like a building or something like that, uh, you start with just like a you know a basic square, and then you can add, you can de perspective the facades and kind of add uh, add your uh, your windows this way. 
so you don't have to wrap things you know as you're working you can just work flat pretty much so as if you were working uh, with a 3d like a real 3d object working on each separate faces uh, one at a time and uh, yeah this this little thing just allows you to uh, to do that so another thing that's uh, pretty interesting here is uh, so I'm gonna be doing like a I don't know like a, a poster or something like that so that I can patch that all over the place to kind of show you uh, yeah like uh, you know some uses for this but this is one of those tools that it, it looks very fairly simple like there's not that many things but all the all the options that you have there they're just non-existent in Photoshop and then the second you start to use them you're like holy crap like <laughs> how have I lived without this uh, as I said like in my case uh, I still get a feeling even though I'm not gonna use it that much because I do like a lot of organic stuff but for anybody doing an environment or stuff that needs to be a little bit more precise like when whenever there's perspective involved basically like, this is a this is like a miracle all right so in this case here what you can uh, what you can do is again I'm gonna go ahead and do the the wrap thing so I'm gonna wrap that particular layer onto that box and then yeah you can just you know let's say this was a poster that you wanted to to apply on uh, like a, a wall from a, from a street or whatever uh, you know you can use the grids uh, and to to gain to basically extract you know all the vanishing points and uh, the correct perspective from your scene and then after that you're uh, you know you can just draw on uh, the, the little path here and apply your uh, know your your posters wherever you want basically with uh, the the proper perspective thanks to those grids so here again this is a uh, you know it's a smart object so you can uh, you can go in there kind of tweak it and uh, yeah non-destructively and that will you just save it and it'll apply it to, to your scene but that's you know that's that's something that's part that's been part of Photoshop for a long time it's not the, the cool part about it is that you can place it in perspective right away and if you're not happy with it, you can just move it around. You can deep perspective it, uh, kind of like reset the changes that you've done on that particular layer. That's the rotate one. So let's say you want to rotate the points. For example, like right now, I've been drawing my lines in uh, you know in chron chronological order. Oh boy. Um, but if you uh, if you do that and you realize that oh maybe the poster you want it to be like a different you know you want it to be rotated, you just click on that and it will change the point order order from the. Uh, uh, the tool that you use, the pen tool, and then that will rotate your layer, pretty much. So yeah, one, two, three, four. There we go. So as you can see here, if you make a mistake, you know you can always just wrap that particular thing to another one, uh, and that's the awesome part about it. Like if you were to do it in Photoshop. Uh, that's a lot longer like if you want to do the same thing it takes a lot longer to do it so yeah uh, there you go you can always change the order rewrap no problem all right so now I'm gonna be uh, extracting kind of the the grid the, the perspective from this particular scene to be able to uh, to place my things around a little bit better and show you another one another tool that's pretty interesting so you know again you create uh, two lines two converging lines using the pen tools and that will create the vanishing point for you there we go so now I have kind of like a you know the correct grid for this particular scene, uh, and another tool that's pretty cool is that you uh, you can kind of you know if you mess up like this, uh, and you want to create like a something that's that's perfect you know like a perfect square. You can uh, use the grid uh, as a snapping tool as a snapping thing. So as you can see, you just click on the perspective and align the kind of like the the, the the lines that you created with the pen tool to those grids so you always make sure that you have something super straight uh, yeah something like that so for example if you wanted to uh, you know apply that to a cylinder you can also do that uh, it will be a little bit uh, you know you'll need to to play around a little bit more to uh, you know to deform it properly so we need to to use the the, the wrap modifier uh, the wrap tool to be able to, uh, to you know to play around with it, but you know it deforms properly. So uh, again, you can just transform it, and you know it's still using the same lines that you that you drew in. So we can uh, yeah just adjust that a little bit, make sure that it actually looks correct and in perspective. All right, so yeah, that that looks pretty good. 
Uh, again, you know, we can change the, the layer style. And there we go. And one last thing right here. So this little tool right there, uh, that's pretty simple. All it does is, and finally that little icon here that I'm not sure why I didn't uh, didn't show you guys, but basically you just click on it and it'll revert all the changes that you've done to a particular layer. So if it, you know you started with a square, like a, like a poster or something and you applied it onto a surface at an angle, you can just click on that and it'll re just revert back to its original. So again, uh, super non-destructive. Very very cool app. Uh, you can probably imagine a bunch of different uses that you can uh, that you could do with this. I am uh, not an environment artist, but everybody that I know that are that have seen this, they can't believe how good and how solid this is. Uh, this is version two, so you know you can probably expect uh, you know new versions from from the the seller. I don't know the seller, but uh, it looks like he's been updating this pretty frequently. So. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that discovery with you guys. Uh, I thought it was a really, really awesome app that I still, yeah, I still don't understand why it's not part of Photoshop already. Uh, I would guess it would be in the future. Uh, I don't know. It just seems so useful. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to get it by uh, by any chance, you can get it right there. That's all for me. I'll see you guys later.